Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, tutorial session using RStudio. In this um, video, I'm going to show you how to run correlation um, analysis specifically for Pearson correlation uh, in RStudio. Okay, as usual, the very first step uh, to run any analysis is to set or to specify your working directory or to specify where is your folder is being located. So for that, um, I'm going to select my folder. So I'm going to uh, click on this three uh, dots. Okay, and uh, my folder is being saved in my pen drive. So when I select my pen drive, I'm going to go into my demo and my t-test folder. So when I open it, I have my collection of uh, R script as well as uh, the data file that I am planning to use for this demonstration purposes. So everything is being installed in just one place. Okay, now um, what I'm going to do is, as usual, I've already prepared my script ahead. Okay, so I'm going to click on my correlation.r. This is my R script. Okay, so the very first um, line here is to set my working directory. And this working directory will be um, on... If you notice, it is already being set at my G, uh, G drive. G, uh, or this is actually my pen drive. Okay, so if this is not similar to, or this is not the place that you have stored your file, what you need to do is you have to make changes to the working directory. So how do you do that? You just have to delete the working directory that has been predefined. So what you need to do, go after you find your folder, you already find your folder, go to more, set as your working directory. So, this working directory will appear under the history tab as well as on your console. So, highlight on the history uh, tab and then select to source. So, it will automatically go to your source page. Sorry, your uh, source page, okay? Now, next is load the library. So, for this, you need to also identify the library that you need to use for your analysis. Okay, so my um, library for stats, okay, I'm going to run it for the t-test. So I'm not going to test it for um, variant. So I can delete it. Okay, because I use the same packages for independent and also pad sample t-test. But in, uh, in correlation, I do not have to test for the variances. So I'm only using the stats for t-test purposes. Max is Library, I'm calling activating the site package because I want to run the descriptive analysis because I want to test for normality. Okay, so once I have uh, these three set, uh, three, um, sorry, I have set my working directory as well as the library, I can run it. Next is I have um, import data file into RStudio. So basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to call in my data file into our studio. And my data is called data underscore correlation dot CSV format. Okay. So if you look at my uh, list of files, it is called, it is stated here data underscore correlation dot CSV. I'm telling our studio, please call this file in and label it as data. Again, I can change this data to any other names. If you notice, if I highlight the data, the, the subsequent lines are being highlighted as well. It's been like a blue box that appears, data, data. So if I change here, I can also change for the rest of it, okay? But I have to go through the uh, find and replace option. Okay, now I'm going to call in my data. Okay, so how do I know that my data has been imported? Okay, it appears on my console. So if it is in blue, meaning there is no error. Okay, if I go to environment, under data, it already been imported. So if I click on the data, I have three different variables, motivation, self-esteem and participant. If I scroll down, I have 20 observations, so 20 participants. And each of these participants, I, in, I extracted two different information. One of them is motivation, the other one is self-esteem. Okay, so I know that I've successfully in, uh, imported it. 
Now I want to test the assumptions. So for correlation analysis, you need to test two assumptions. Firstly is normality and the test of independence. So normality, I would like to check whether these two variables that is being collected from the participant are normally distributed. So how do I know it is normally distributed or not? By looking at the skewness value. The skewness value has to be within plus minus 1, the range of plus minus 1. So if they are be the value is between that range, meaning these two variables are normally distributed. Okay, so for that, I'm telling, I'm asking a function from psych package. Please describe for me the motivation value, motivation variable that is from data, uh, from my data file. Okay, and also please describe self-esteem from my data file. So for both of them, highlight it and select run. So once you run it, if you notice under the console, you have two sets of information. One is for variable 1 and variable 2. You have number of observation, the means, blah, 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 until the skewness for both the variables. So both of them are within the range of plus minus 1. Therefore, both, of, both motivation and self-esteem variables are normally distributed. Okay, next is... Test of independence. So test of independence meaning that the observation that you get in your data, it is not influenced by another participant. So participant 20's responses are not influenced by the responses from participant number uh, 18 or number 3. So each of them are in uh, responding or giving information about motivation and self-esteem by themselves. So they are not being influenced by anyone else. Okay. Again, there is no test to test. Uh, there is no statistical test to uh, evaluate the test uh, of the, uh, the independence of the observation. So we assume that independence is being met based on the way that we collected our data. So once we have met the assumptions for normality and independence, we can run the analysis, the correlation analysis. So I'm telling um, the stats package, okay, please run correlation test, okay, for both these two, both, for the, these two selected variables, motivation from the data set, self-esteem from the data set. Okay, so when I uh, select these two and run, I'll get a results under the console. So here it says that Pearson product moment correlation. Okay, the data between these two, uh, the correlation between motivation and self-esteem, it provides you the T degrees of freedom and P value. Okay, so the P value shows that it is less than 0 0.05. It shows when it's less than 0 0.05, there is a significant relationship between motivation and self-esteem. So, um, what is the what is the, the the correlation coefficient? Okay, so when we say that okay, there is a relationship. So, what is the value of the relationship? So that is zero point seven two. Where do you get it? The sample estimates correlation zero point seven two. And if you notice, there is no negative sign, meaning there is a positive correlation between these two variables, but Okay, how uh, is, is this relationship a strong, moderate or weak relationship? What type of relationship? We have reported the direction. There is a positive correlation. But, and uh, with the 0 0.72, is it a big, is it a strong correlation, a weak correlation? Okay, again, you have to look at the cutoff values. So, Cohen said that if it is anything greater than 0 0.5, it has a strong uh, relationship or strong correlation. So in this case, the correlation coefficient is 0 0.72. So you can say that we have strong positive correlation or relationship between motivation and self-esteem. So it's actually trying to say that if your motivation is high, your self-esteem is also high. So if you are a motivated person, your self-esteem is also high. So if you have a self high self-esteem, of course, your motivation will also go up. So that is why there is a positive relationship. 
So it tells you that both are moving on the same direction. If one is increasing, the other one is increasing. If you had a negative 0 0.72, that means you still have a strong negative relationship between motivation and self-esteem. So what does that mean? So the more motivated you are, the lower your self-esteem is. So me or low people with the lower self-esteem will have higher motivation, for example, because they are moving on the opposite direction. So but if you look at uh, in this case, it is a positive relationship, meaning like if you have an increase in one, there will be also an increase on the other variable. Okay, so hope it was clear. Okay, uh, hope to see you in other um, tutorials regarding uh, uh, on our studio. So thank you very much.